Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing a few of my fragrance blind buys that I recently purchased by Tiziana Terenzi. For those of you who are new here, I am Velma and this is Velma's Essence on my channel. I typically discuss fragrances, skincare, and anti-aging products. I am someone who is in the 50 plus club, so anti-aging is definitely something I pay close attention to. And here on my channel, we just enjoy a few of those small indulgences. If this is something that you think you'd be interested in, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would be an honor for me to have you. Also, if you haven't already followed me on Instagram, please make sure you check that out as well. All right, let's go ahead and get started. In today's video, I purchased three different uh, Tiziana Terenzi fragrances. These are new to me. I've never owned anything by this house and um, these are blind buys. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the, the notes. We are going to take a look at the, the um, main accords and just kind of follow along with me and see um, just a natural reaction in my experience with these fragrances. So in the first one, I wanted to go ahead and purchase the most popular fragrance, Kirke. I don't know how to pronounce this. This is, I, I'm assuming it's Kirke. There's an accent on the E. Um, this is Tiziana Terenzi's Kirke. This is supposed to be for men and women. And in your main accords, you are going to experience a uh, fruity fragrance. It's sweet, it's musky, powdery, it's fresh, it's tropical, and it's woody. All right, so let's go ahead and see what this one is all about. Like I said, this is one of the most popular fragrances in this house. And I stumbled upon a few of these fragrances at a great buy. And I wanted to just kind of try out what everybody's been talking about. It comes in this really heavy weighted bottle and a heavy weighted packaging. So let me get into this without causing too much of a mess. Okay. All right. So yes, definitely a heavy weighted bottle inside the packaging comes along a little booklet. And in this booklet, um, I'm assuming it's going to share the experience talks about the classic collection, the different, uh, fragrances. Like I've got uh, Deluxe, I did purchase that one, the Kirkay, and then um, Arthesia was one that I was considering. Hmm, that's interesting. So it's just a little booklet here that describes each of the fragrances in this house. There's quite a few of them. And this is um, out of Italy. Yes, this fragrance was made in Italy. So let's go ahead and take a sniff. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the bottle. It is this uh, shiny, very sleek gold bottle. Up here in the top, there is this little, there's these little uh, detailed designs here at the top. All right, and so like I said, this one's going to be a fruity, sweet, musky, floral. The atomizer is uh, very light in its mist. Oh, that's pretty. Hmm. Okay, so this one is supposed to be a universal fragrance. It's um, definitely can be used any time of year, any time of day is what it's recommended. It's a love love for so many. They say it is a fragrance for men and women, but to me, it leans a little bit more feminine. I'm interested to see what this smells like on my husband. 
So in the top notes, there's passion fruit, peach, pear, raspberry, cassis, and sand. I definitely get the pear and the peach. Okay, and then in the middle notes, there's lily of the valley. And in the base notes, there's musk of vanilla, sandalwood, patchouli, and heliotrope. Hmm, it's definitely a like for me. I don't know if it's one that I'm going to love, love. I love the atomizer though. The atomizer is very, very light, very misty. I'm, I'm smelling the, it's definitely very fruity in the initial spray. So this would definitely, I can see how this will project on your skin, maybe in a moderate fashion. I'm curious about the longevity. It is said to give a pretty amount of wear time, pretty good amount of wear time. I think it leans more feminine to me. And this is, if you've tried Herba Pura from Zerzhov. This is said to be similar to that fragrance. This is a nice, lovely fragrance. I don't know if it would be a love for me, but it definitely is nice. This is Kirke by Tiziana Terenzi. Okay. All right. So the next one that I have in my haul of Tiziana Terenzi fragrances, this one is called Deluxe. And this is considered also universal unisex fragrance. Um, same type of boxing, definitely substantial in the packaging. Now this one has two little booklets in one that describes all of them, and then one specifically for the fragrance itself. This one gives a little bit of a description. Let's go ahead and read this here. The essence of summer without a care in the world and full of an inebriating, inebriating sense blown in the area by the melatomy wind of the latitudes. It is warm, sensual, embrace, magically contained, and inspired by unspoiled ancestral beauty of the Mediterranean. Okay, that is one description. Same bottle, same. Now this one doesn't really snap on. I don't know if I like that. It doesn't really snap on too well. It's kind of wonky. Okay. Mm. It's a little wetter in the atomizer. Hmm. This reminds me of a Delina exclusive. Let me see if other people get that. Maybe there's lychee in here. I'm curious because I smell it. I, it reminds me of Delina exclusive. <laughs> okay. Other people have said the same thing. It does. It reminds me of Delina exclusive. Okay, it has coffee, white hyacinth and iris, Turkish rose, vanilla, opoponics, honey, white musk, amber, and cedar. In the main accords, you have rose and honey and vanilla. It's sweet, it's floral and powdery. I don't smell the coffee, but there's amber, musky, and warm, spicy. Definitely a fall and winter type fragrance. Can be worn during day or night. It's considered to be a floral woody musk. Interesting. I like it. 
I like it quite a bit. I actually think I prefer this one over the last one, but it's very similar to my Delina exclusive. I've got my Delina here. Delina, maybe it's a little more powdery. Let me see. No, this is not supposed to be. Hmm. Okay. Delina is definitely more floral and fruity in the opening than the Deluxe, but the dry down. Yeah. Okay, so for Delina, just to compare um, the two, Delina is a little more fruity and floral in the opening. This one's a, not as apparent. This one's like a little bit more of a, a sweeter opening. But it, it is nice. It is very nice. I like it. I don't know why my top is not working properly. I may have to get this exchanged because it's not, there's no snap to it. It just kind of sits there. That's going to bother me. All right, so this one here is Deluxe. And then the last one that I have is another unisex fragrance. And it, this one is called Popora. Now I was debating whether to get Andromeda or this one, and I don't know why, but just the notes on this one just kind of had me interested, had me a little more interested than um, the, the Andromeda. And I knew that with my Charest Discovery um, set, those of you who have seen my other video, um, I knew I was going to get a 3 mil of the Andromeda. So I figured I'd try that there and then go ahead and experience a full bottle of Papora. Not really impressed with, I'm impressed with like the packaging, I guess if you need that, I don't know, to me it's just a waste. Um, and I understand that there's a presentation about it, but um, the bottle itself, like this little part here is, I guess it's like a faux leather labeling and it was peeling off when it first came out of the package. And this top definitely snaps on unlike the other. This top is heavy weighted. This top is heavier than the bottle itself. So, oh my goodness. You could definitely <laughs> create some damage with this one if you drop this one on your toe. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it has like a pretty like constellation or some type of design. Um, phases, yeah, constellation phases of the moon and the universe, aligning of the planets. I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about this. So let's go ahead and take a look at the main accords. Here you um, are going to experience amber, warm and spicy, rose, balsamic, sweet, smoky, patchouli, floral, fruity, and woody. Okay, it reminds me of another fragrance as well. What am I thinking of? It smells like, why I th think of one of La Via Bell flankers maybe? Maybe it's the patchouli. Oh, maybe that's it. That's what I'm thinking of. I do have Molten Brown's fragrances and it probably is reminding me of one of the flankers that I have from Molten Brown. That's probably what it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. This is definitely fall, winter type fragrance. Maybe you could carry this into the spring. Definitely nighttime for me. I don't see myself wearing this um, on, on the hotter months or hotter days. It's powdery, it's floral, it's sweet. 
Okay, in the top notes you have rose, raspberry, cloves, and cinnamon. In the middle notes you have Bulgarian rose, incense, patchouli, and poppy. And in the base notes you have uh, myrrh, musk, amber, benzoin, and chestnut. I found that these notes were definitely of interest to me. I thought the chestnut and the patchouli with the musk would be interesting to experience. Definitely very green in the opening, a uh, very tart. I smell the raspberry and the patchouli. And the rose that I smell on this is more of the stem and the leaf than the actual petal itself. It's interesting. I don't know if it's a love, love for me. I'm going to have to give this a try. So, so far I've got out of these three different fragrances, Deluxe, Popora. These are pretty. I don't know. Kind of just, hmm, they're okay. I don't know if they're going to be hits for me. Porpora, Kirke, and Deluxe. I think out of the three, maybe the Kirke is my favorite and then the Porpora is number two. And then maybe because I like the Delina exclusive so much that um, maybe this one would be third. All right, everyone. So in my uh, discovery of the Tiziana Terenzi line, um, I'm really excited to experience these fragrances. This is the Popora, and it is a love, love for many, and that is perfect for fall, winter, maybe going into spring. The Kirkay is the most popular variation of the fragrances in this house. And this one is a fruity, sweet, fresh and tropical fragrance and then the deluxe seriously i could totally see how it is reminiscent of delina exclusive and there is definitely rose forward on this fragrance but it is definitely sweeter and more vanillic in its opening all right everyone so that is my blind buy of the tiziana terenzi fragrances i can definitely see why so many people find these fragrances a love for them you can tell that there is quality um, in the experience of the packaging the bottles itself and of the fragrance high quality ingredients you can tell that there's nothing nothing synthetic um, and i'm excited to try these more let's see if they make it to my august and september tray and we'll see if these are a hit or a miss for me as i experience them more all right everyone thank you so much for watching i am so grateful to have you here with me if you found this video interesting or helpful to you please don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe it will be my pleasure all right everyone thank you so much for watching until next time peace and love bye